We got one. We get the money. We get the money. We get the moolah. We get the moolah. We get the peso. We get the peso. We get the nero. We get the nero. We get the skrilla. We get the skrilla. We hit the lotto. We hit the lotto. We get the bread. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just want to say thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you um, don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. It's the same name, Mrs. Pesos, XOXO. Um, also, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because we just hit 1K. Like, I'm still psyched about it. I can't believe we just hit 1K. Um, so, yeah, I'm just excited about getting more subscribers and more support from you guys. I just want to say thank you to all of my old subbies, y'all, it's the bomb. And to my new subbies, hey, how y'all doing? Make sure y'all subscribe, okay? If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? So, let's just jump right into it, okay? So, this video is going to be about, obviously, you can tell from the title, it's going to be about how I manifested $10,000. Like, I know it sounds so like, what? Like, you did what? But yes, yeah, sis, I manifested $10,000 in my bank account. And I am going to give you guys the insight on how I achieved this manifestation. Like, how I grasped this manifestation in my life, okay, in the universe in my bank account okay so the number one thing that i started with was removing if y'all see something flying it's just i got a lot of stuff going on okay the number one thing that i started with is i eliminated all of the negative energy around me okay so that's step number one if Someone in your circle is, uh, oh no, my camera's dying. If someone's in your circle negative, if they don't support you, if they're not there for you, like, it's just something negative about this person, cut them off. Okay? Make sure to cut them off. One. Um... You know, in order to really get into manifestation and affirmations and, you know, just speaking things into existence, you mentally have to be in a positive area. Like, you have to be in a positive environment. So that's the number one thing that you need to start with is no negativity peace, tranquility around you at all times while you're manifesting. Whatever it is that you want the universe to bring to you, okay, you have to be in a positive area. You have to be in a positive circle, all of that, okay? So that's the first step. Okay, so number two, what my process the number two step to my process in manifesting this amount of money is that I had to basically focus on my calling. Like, I had to be still within myself in order to really focus on what's my purpose, if that makes any sense. So, meaning that I kind of took a step back in my everyday life so I kind of like stepped back and really analyzed some of the things that weren't working for me like right now I am able to well I made the choice I've made the decision to really just focus on my um, social media platforms building the audience being more consistent on my YouTube channel because this is really a passion to me. So as long as I put the energy and time and effort 
and to my calling and to my purpose, I feel like the universe is, is going to not necessarily, I don't know how to explain it, but the universe is going to give, as, as, as long as you work hard, like you just can't wish something would happen and not work for it. As long as you work hard for something, especially if it's your passion as well, the universe is going to give it to you. I mean, it's going to happen. You just have to stay consistent. You have to stay, keep doing what whatever it is that you love. As long as it's your purpose and your calling, you can do that. As long as it's your purpose, it's your calling, do it. The universe, it will come back to you. I promise it will come back to you. So just take time to step away from whatever it is you're doing. If it's not making you happy, stop doing it. If it's not your purpose, stop doing it. If it's not your passion, stop doing it. Whatever it is that you want to do, as long as it's yours, it's true to you on the inside, go for it. Like, don't wait. Don't hold off. Do it now. Okay? So that's number two. The third thing that I did was I doubled my self-care routine. Because the reason why I doubled my self-care routine is because I um, do affirmations and I pray during my self-care routine so basically in the shower like my me time my downtime is self-care to me so if i'm listening to music if i'm just doing my hair if i'm showering if i'm washing my face whatever your self-care routine is like Make it a habit to do affirmations. Make it a habit to speak things into existence. Um, just go in, like, because you have, like, you have to have that time. Because I know that the reason why I thought of doing it this way is because I'm so busy. And a lot, of, a lot of things that need to be done, like, the biggest excuse is, well, I never have time. It's impossible to never have time when you're doing something, doing your 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 self care routine. So you always have to care for yourself, always, regardless if it's combing your hair, brushing your teeth, um, showering, shaving, whatever it is. Put put the time like just double it. Put that time into speaking things into existence. Okay, the more you do it, the the, the more repetition that it is. It's going to be programmed into the self-conscious mind to think and believe that it's already there. The only thing, when, when your mind think and believe that it's already there, the universe brings it to you. Okay? So you speak it, you hear it, and your mind processes that, hey, you know, these things are already going on. These things are already aligning. And then, boom. Okay? The universe is going to bless you. Okay? So, that's number three. Number four. Number four is, I have been kind of researching, well, I, not kind of, I have been researching um, affirmations more. So, affirma uh, affirmation is, is you basically either speaking or writing something down. Um, basically, uh, speaking in terms of possessing something you want, uh, regardless if it's something physical, mental, emotional, um, anything. So what I've done, um, some days, like not every night, but some nights I have a journal. I got me a journal and I write down my affirmations. Um, with affirmations, you have to be really careful with those because you have to be specific. You can't just say, well, I want um, I want a boat and just leave it at that. No, you have to be more specific. What type of boat do you want? When do you want this boat by? What's, what's today's date? Like, sign it. Like, it's, it's just like, um, you have to think of affirmation just like uh, a car note. Like, you have to sign this card note, you have to, uh, you have to date it, like, all of that stuff. Take that into consideration when you're writing down your affirmations. So, let's say that I am 
writing, uh, I am claiming in my affirmation clarity. So this is how I would write it down. I would say, um, I will have clarity about every everything that makes me question any possible reason that I any any possible reason that there may be a chance of me failing. Like <clears throat> I will have clarity. So with that being said, there is no chance of me failing if I have the clarity. I will possess the clarity of any anything that makes me question if I am able to succeed or fail at anything that I have a chance at. That way it's more clear it's 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 basically it's it's no question to what you want basically. So you have to be more specific when you write your affirmations. Also when you write your when you finish writing your affirmations, sign it and date it in cursive. I write all my affirmations in cursive, okay, and I sign and date cursive. So that's number four, okay? And I just want to say, like, before, uh, another thing, before y'all just jump right into it, you also have to make sure that you are happy and you are actually stating that you're happy with whatever you have right now. Whatever you have right now, you are fine with. Okay? So, that's what you have to state before you do any of this. You have to state to the universe that whatever I possess right now. Okay, so you have to you have to state that to the universe. Whatever the universe has given you at this moment and point in time, you have to let it be known that you are happy with it. Okay, you are grateful for whatever you have right now. Okay, so before you get into any of those steps, make sure you do that first. Okay, so um, that's basically it. Those are all the steps that I took in order to achieve this lump sum of money in my bank account. Okay, all right, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. I love y'all. If y'all not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway right now. If you're interested in that giveaway, go ahead and watch that giveaway video. Okay, I'll make sure I leave it down in the description box below. I love y'all again, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.